use Dimwolf's theorem to explain 3 plus i to the power 6. Now, Dimwolf's theorem states that if n is an integer, then r cis theta to the power n is r to the power n cis n theta. So, Dimwolf's theorem can be used only when you can write a complex number in, in polar form. So, yeah, the first thing that we need to do is we need to change this, which is in A plus BI form, to a polar form. So, I've drawn this is the real arm and this is the imaginary arm. Okay. So, say this is 3, not drawn to scale, and this is I. So, now to write in polar form, we need to find R and we also need to find the angle that it makes with the positive arm of the x-axis. So, drawing a right angle triangle using Pythagoras, r is nothing but square root of, r is square root of 3 squared, it is square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared. 3 squared is 9 plus 1, which is square root of 10. So, leave it as it is. Theta it is 10 inverse of this is 1 and this is 3. So your opposite is 1, adjacent is 3. So 10 is opposite over adjacent, which is 1 divided by 3. Which is, so let me get my calculator. So 10 shift, 10, 1 divided by 3. So I'm going to save this as a letter because I want this whole number. So 18.4349, whatever. So I'm going to save this as alpha A. Okay. So my calculator will remember this as A would be this. So if you press alpha A, it will have this whole number. So I'll say this is equal to 18.43 dot dot dot. And that I have saved as A now. Okay. So, I can now write 3 plus i to the power 6. This is in uh, A plus B A form, and I'm writing the same thing in polar form, is root 10, cis, your theta is A. So, I'm writing A to the power 6. So, this is using Dimwolf's theorem. This is uh, root 10 to the power 6, cis, uh, 6a, just like that. Because you have to multiply your argument. This is called, the angle is called the argument, and this is called the modulus. Or you, you may multiply the angle with the 6, and you raise the modulus by the power. So, this is, now I don't want to use the calculator, so this is root 10 squared, the whole cube. Okay, so let me use the calculator. So I hope you understand this will be 1000, I'll show that. So this is 1000, this is nothing but 1000 cis 6a. Okay, so this is nothing but, so what this is the abbreviation for cos so this is nothing but cos 6a plus i sine 6a. So I'll now have to use my calculator. So again, expanding this further, so expanding with 1000. So this is 1000 cos 6a plus i times 1000 sine 6a that will give this in A plus B I form. So let us again get the calculator. So I'll go 1000 cos, I'll put this in bracket 6 alpha A, will give me the number which is minus 342, which is a neat number minus 352. And for sine, I will go 1000 sine bracket 6 alpha a which is 936i so your answer is plus 936i so this is an answer we got by using dimwolf's theorem so let us do this on the calculator 
So let me cancel this, exit, exit. So if you go to option, if you go to F3, which is complex number, and it, my calculator will directly do 3 plus I to the power 6. Okay, to the power 6 will directly give you this. Some old calculators doesn't do it, so you have to do three times. So you go 3 plus, you have to trick the calculator, squared, that's 8 plus 6i, then again square it. So raise it, answer squared. This is to the fourth power, then again square it. So this is the sixth power. Oh, what did I do? Uh, no, so yeah, sorry. So you have to do, if it is, I will first square it, sorry, it will be the eighth power. So 3 plus i squared. And then I'll raise this by 3. Okay, raise this by 3. Hopefully, you'll get the answer. So the same answer you'll get. Minus 352 plus 9i is the answer on a calculator.